so the first step that you need to do is that uh, for this you need to directly uh, load the thermal band band 6 uh, that will be titled as uh, b6 bci uh, cd dash 1 so this is the data set that you need to load into your gis interface so that's the first step that you will be doing here then after what uh, you need to do is that uh, is uh, the all the guidelines or the research papers that i have seen here this is that the first step that we need to do is we need to convert this digital dn value to the top of atmosphere uh, spectral radiance so the dn value that is present the thermal band dn value will be converted into radiance so for that what we need to do is that we need to go to raster calculator and we need to write here some kind of code and the code is this one actually what this code is saying is that uh, this is the kind of formula or equation that you need to apply and the state the quite state uh, way of doing this is uh, what this L max lambda this means the maximum spectral radiance and those kind of specifications are available here what you do is that you directly copy this all this uh, code simply just copy and you just go to this raster calculator and just paste it here i will explain this all things uh, don't worry for that expression invalid it's saying so that it's better to copy from uh, paste it into the notepad and once you paste it in notepad then you can again come here and paste it then it will say valid so after doing this uh, uh, make sure of one thing that this uh, the expression that you are seeing here the last year this name it may be different in your case so make sure you erase that and you just uh, this this is the required uh, my thermal band so i'll be just double left clicking here and now everything is fine and once you do this uh, now i will be explain this what this all things and what are this all data value all about so you do, you may be wondering about where this uh, okay this formula is all good then where these values are coming from these all values are coming from the mtl file that you get while downloading those uh, uh, satellite images just open it and i will be shown here and just uh, maximum spectral radius for band 6 okay then let's go scroll down and let's go to radiance part yeah radiance and for band 6 we are going remember that uh, okay for band 6 we are going and uh, maximum is it's saying 17.04 and 17.04 okay and minimum also it's saying zero and it's uh, saying that minimum is zero okay this is good then what other is showing is that maximum quantized calculated value is what we need and uh, this value is also available here you can scroll it down and it's saying quantized value for band 6 and its maximum is 255 and you can see it here it's 255 and minimum is also given here for band 6 and that minimum is 1 okay so these kind of things all are uh, available in your this mtl file so you don't have to worry about those kind of things uh, for the sake of simplicity for here you just uh, copy and paste here and just erase it and keep it there once these things are done what you need to do is that you just need to go to directory and just uh, write here give it a file name i will say radiance then just uh, save it and just click on uh, ok ok now everything has ok i have got my toa radiance now the second after getting the radiance now the second step says that what we need to do is that we need to convert that spectral radiance into radiant uh, surface temperature so now to convert that radiance value into uh, surf radiant surface temperature or simply we call it, it land surface temperature what we need to do is that we need to apply this equation this equation is what we need to apply and instead of doing all this uh, thing i directly have got a code here i will be i will keep this code in uh, description as well so don't worry for that you can simply copy and paste 
and you directly what you go here and again go to raster calculator and just simply air paste it and like i said before this portion is very very important because beginners people do mistake here we need to remove that uh, the past code lines and just keep that file name that you have your name so in my case here is this just double left key double left click here and it will come here automatically okay again you people might say what is the value of this k2 k1 and those kind of things so basically this code is saying that the spectral radiance that we obtained from this first step we need to convert into radiance surface temperature so this uh, l lambda is the radiance that we obtained we had obtained and uh, this l lambda and other thing here is uh, okay this k2 and k1 value where from where we are going to obtain this is again we are going to obtain from this one and you just if we scroll down it here you will just see the uh, uh, value name here just you can see it look at here k2 constant value vcid for this is this one and uh, k1 is this one so go for it and i have directly written the code here and and another uh, reason here this uh, doing minus 273.15 you are directly going to get the value your land surface temperature in celsius but if you want in kelvin then uh, you can remove it so make sure of that part as well now after uh, doing this kind of things output format is GRT. you don't need to do anything for that you just go to output layer and directly right here okay this is the data of 2003 so i am uh, going for that you directly click on save okay if everything is fine just uh, what you need to do is you just click on okay okay now i have successfully obtained my uh, land surface temperature beyond this what you can do is that you can uh, just uh, get your save file of your desired area of interest and just clip it you can also apply here a bit of symbology here a kind of color ramp that you want to keep it here so in my case uh, i will be just trying to uh, just create a new color ramp i will just prefer a kind of color ramp that uh, so I will be going with this temperature and uh, this is the value that I would like to choose here and uh, it's showing okay uh, so uh, this is the basic way how you calculate the LST so uh, I will provide you this uh, link of this research paper also these guys also have uh, used the same technique for calculating this uh, ETM plus uh, or Landsat 7 uh, LST so these are the things that you need to keep in mind so thank you viewers for watching this tutorial if there are any kind of queries or you have uh, uh, you came into a kind of problem while uh, uh, following this tutorial you can always comment and i will try to respond to you as soon as back as possible